Hey guys, Keith from Kegland, and today we're talking about some accessories we're bringing out for our Nukatap Mini. So the Nukatap Minis are a small half size tap we brought out less than a year ago. They've been extremely popular, but we noticed when we brought out the video for these that a lot of people started to comment about, um, you know, the uh, the clamp-on adapter. So I'd sort of folded up this sort of really basic clamp-on adapter and laser cut it and made it in the workshop. And it kind of worked well, got a few comments. I thought, look, if people really want this, we may as well make it. And because people are asking for it, we thought we may, may as well make a couple different options. So that way they could uh, have like a, a nuka tap and essentially use it anywhere. So um, instead of having to, let's say, drill holes through a bench or permanently mount it into a cooler box or something like that, um, these new accessories we just brought out can essentially, you know, enable you to mount a Nukatap Mini temporarily and mount them, you know, pretty much in any configuration. So I've got one which is like a vertical uh, clamp-on assembly like this, and I've also got a horizontal one which is like this. So typically a horizontal one would be perfect for, let's say you've got a park bench or table, something horizontal essentially like this. So you've got a horizontal, you know, bench like that, and you basically put it on like this, then you screw up this big long wing nut like so, and then what you can do is you can basically pull this tap here and dispense beers straight away. So you can just have your esky and the kegs uh, on ice, for instance, uh, down below, and then clamp that onto the edge of a park bench and you can start pouring beers straight away. So a really handy little option. Look, another thing you can do is even like, um, you know, let's say you're, you're going away for the weekend and using somebody else's house and, uh, you know, maybe you don't want to drill holes in their fridge door. I'm sure they probably wouldn't really enjoy that. So what you could do is go on top of a fridge door. So this vertical assembly would be perfect for that. I haven't mounted the tap in here, so I'm gonna show you how that, that works and how to mount these uh, on this device in the video. But let's say you've got a vertical um, you know, fridge assembly, what you can do is go over the top of the fridge door like that. And generally, because this stainless steel is fairly thin, it doesn't disturb the magnetic seal on the door too much. Look, tiny bit of air might flow out, but it's not gonna make a substantial uh, difference to your energy consumption of that fridge you know, just for a few days. So you can screw that on like that, and then you can basically you know, pull some beers, and you don't have to keep opening and closing the door of that fridge and just have the new Katap Mini uh, you know, mounted on the fridge door. You could also use this for any other vertical you know, thing. Let's say you've got, for instance, a, um, a cooler. So you could put this on the wall of a cooler, whack it on like that, drop this wing nut, and away you go. Once again, you've got basically a tap. You don't have to drill holes in the cooler, and you know, you can start pouring beer straight away. So look, really handy setup. So let's get into this, and I'll show you how these uh, are assembled out of the box and how you can use them. So to fit the Nukatap Mini to either the vertical or the horizontal assembly, it's very similar. Essentially, you start off with the tap, then you've got to buy the wall-mounted um, assembly kit. So this is the wall-mounted shank assembly. You pour this out of the box here like this, and then you take away these long screws. So to make this process a bit simpler, what we've done is when you buy this horizontal or the vertical assembly, they come with some really short nuts like this, so you don't have to use these long ones and chop them down. That does make the setup a little bit easier for the for you. So you can just sort of keep these maybe for another job later. The other thing in the wall mounted assembly kit is this backing plate is not gonna get used, so you're gonna put that back in the box. We're gonna, not gonna use that one. So we're only gonna use these parts here. What we've got is this sitting on the front, then we've got these, uh, these basically uh, M5 screws, I think they are. They go on the front like that. And then what we've got is this nylock nut which screws onto the back. So just do it up finger tight like so and do that to the three nuts like this. Oh, actually I've made one small mistake. See where it's got the arrows showing this way up? It is slightly better if you know which orientation which you're going to use this clamp on assembly to actually face that in the direction that you want to be facing upwards. So in this case, I've got it like this. And that is, look, it's not absolutely vital because you can always rotate the tap later, but it does make it slightly, slightly better. And I can show you the reason why a little bit later on. Okay, so you basically put those screws in place like this and do up these nylock nuts. There's three of them in total. Um, and then you're probably gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. And I think it's like a 9 30 seconds or about seven millimeter socket for these nylock nuts. You could just use a spanner or a, or a shifter essentially. Um, but uh, yeah, you basically screw them on like this. And then I'm gonna get the old impact driver. Look, this is kind of overkill for this type of job really. Um, but it is gonna make it a bit quick. So you basically do the nut up like this, like that. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to be like super crazy tight, just so it doesn't come loose in transit or, you know, don't want those nuts to fall out when I'm taking it to the park. Okay, that's pretty much it. 
And then what I've got is this little socket here. Now, I have bought, bought the wall-mounted kit specifically with the smaller quarter-inch or 6.35 millimeter OD beer line. I kind of like this because this is the type of product where I very likely will be putting the beer line through like let's say a door jam of my fridge or I might be putting it through like the jam on my um, cooler box or something like that. And you know, because it's a smaller diameter, you know, it's gonna be fit into those tight spaces a little bit better. So what you can do is basically start by putting this straight into the duo type fitting at the back of this sort of shank assembly like that. So that just pushes straight in there. Always make sure you push it in really, really quite firmly so it hits that bump stop. One of the reasons that some people find um, that basically they get a leak or something like that, it's mostly caused by either this not being cleanly cut off uh, straight or the other option is they don't push the beer line in all the way. So if you get those two things right, you're gonna be able to get a good reliable seal. Then I can push this into the back of the tap like this. And then what I do is just feed it through the front of the tap. Now, most people with this type of assembly um, being the vertical assembly will mount it like this, but really you can mount it anyway. You could have this off the side of a door or something like that and mount it like that way, And it, in which case I'd rotate the tap in that direction. So you know, it really comes down to how you want to mount it, but get the tap, oh, sorry, forgot one thing. Uh, I've got this decorative plate, which, t which just covers up those ugly screw holes there. So basically I'm just gonna push that on next. Okay, so that's done. And then I push the beer line through here. And away we go. So basically got that orientation. So this is, you know, approximately vertical. And once I've got that, I do this little knurled half inch nut up. And that is really as difficult as it is. It's probably one of the easiest uh, beer line setups you can ever put together yourself at home. That has taken me literally a few minutes. I clip that onto my keg and away I go. I can start dispensing beers straight away. Now, another great little accessory if you guys want it. If I install the self-closing spring for the Nucatap Mini, that's another great accessory to get because if you are at a park or something like that, last thing you want is somebody chuck a Frisbee, hits the tap, opens up, and then the entire keg pours out. So obviously I've got the self-closing spring. This will automatically close itself off once uh, somebody lets go of the tap. So another good accessory to get, but look, a fantastic option for anybody with you know a portable dispensing needs. Okay, so let's say you want to mount a tap onto like a cooler box like this, but you want to put it on the lid rather than on the wall of it. So as you can see, I've got the, uh, I've got this one, which is the vertical clamping unit. So this is clamping onto the side of the cooler like this. But let's say I wanted to clamp it onto the lid. You could be stuck with a problem like this. So let's say I put that on the lid. As you can see, this, this wing nut screw is really in the way in that instance. So if you have a, situ a mounting situation like this, you can also reverse the position of this wing nut screw. And I'm just gonna show you that now. We have kind of tried to think of every situation possible. Just get a Phillips head screwdriver take off this plate here like so. So we're undoing that uh, little mounting bolt and screw, then undo this wing nut. And then what we can do is on the other side, we've got this M8 thread, and then we can basically screw this in from that side. So this is gonna basically solve that problem. Basically got that there like that. And then what I do is get out the trusty screwdriver again, and then put this on here like so. Okay, so now, now what I'm gonna do is get that through that hole, that M8 uh, screw hole, and basically screw this down like that. So that gives me really even more options with how I can mount this. So as you can see, that, uh, that wing nut was really in the way before, but now what I can do is basically put this on the lid of that cooler and mount it like this. And yeah, sure, that's gonna basically get a little bit into the, the jam, I guess, of the seal of the Esky or the cooler, but look, not a lot of cold air, not a lot of warm air is gonna get in there and melt the ice. So it's not really a massive deal. And as you can see, I can just open and close that. So that gives you literally plenty of different options. This is also one of our new stainless steel Esky. So if you're interested in this one, this is also on the website. And this one can fit up to six of our um, Oxy Bar four liter keg. So if you're interested in that one, it make, can make a really good, you can even have uh, you know six little taps you know, Nuka Tap mini taps across the front of this Esky and uh, have a really cool, you know, portable bar set up, you know, down at the park. Okay, as you can see in this instance, I've got the uh, Oxy Bar 4 litre keg. Sorry about all the mess in the fridge. And then as you can see, the beer line is just running through the door jam. The door still closes fine, so it doesn't make too much of a difference there. 
and then I can just pour myself a beer like that. So great little setup for a portable system. Let's say you're just going to uh, you know rent a house for the weekend for a holiday. You don't want to obviously drill you know holes through the fridge door. That's a great way to set up a, a little portable keg system. You know in a rental, for instance. Well, how cool is that? I've literally got this uh, hazy beer which I've just put into a keg. It's in that uh, PCO four liter keg here and basically dispensing that through the Nuka Tap Mini just clamped onto this esky. So no need to make any holes, drill into my esky at all, and then I can just remove these and take them off and it convert it back to a conventional esky when I'm done. So such an easy solution. I totally would recommend this for anybody with like a portable setup or taking you know kegs, small kegs to a friend's house or something like that. You're not gonna find a better solution. So if you guys wanna hear about any other stuff that's coming out, bottom right hand corner, hit subscribe now and hear about the other videos that are coming out. Obviously, if you wanna get a notification, hit that bell. And the other thing to do is sign up to our Facebook homebrew community group. So uh, jump on Facebook, search that Kegland homebrew community group and join that one and join in on the discussion with all the uh, other gear that we're talking about there. All right, see you guys next time. Bye.